Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. We're going to do a walkthrough of a 2002 SCMI T130 shaper. Nine horsepower, 234 60 volt, currently wired 230 volts. Inch and a quarter spindle. Spindle is seven inches tall, five and a half inches under the thread. Your top nut is one inches tall, so that gives you basically six and a half inches under the nut if you include the thread space on the top. Going to get a set of spacers and the manual. This one does have numeric counts on both sides of the fence. Basically take this handle and you would superimpose it to what other side you're adjusting. It's multiple speed, 3,000, 4,500, 6,000, 7,000, and 10,000 RPM. You basically achieve that by pulling this handle forward. It's going to release your belt and you move your belt accordingly to the diagram on the side here. To the left is your foot brake. To the right is your spindle lock. Both of those do function as they should. We're going to start the machine. It does have forward and reverse. We're going to throw it in forward. It does lock into forward position. We're going to hit that foot brake really fast. As you can see, it functions as it should. Reset that emergency stop. Now reverse is a little bit tricky. Again, it will just click into forward for safety reasons. You actually have to twist it into reverse and hit the button at the same time. Again, we're gonna hit that foot brake. To the right is your spindle lock. You basically just come in and hit this. And as you can see, that spindle has locked. You get a three roll Powermatic power feed. We did install brand new 60 durometer Acrotech wheels. Uh, these are not cheap wheels, and what's nice is that's a reusable hub. So these are just press on wheels. However, this is a really, really high quality wheel. We'll go through the speeds real fast. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com or give us a call at 630-229-6705. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.